This video is brought to you by our Patreon page. Help us grow and keep creating great content by supporting us on Patreon. Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the Mobility Series. Today we've got a full body stretch routine lined up. It's an all levels class. You don't need any props or anything. It's gonna need yourself a mat. And I'm gonna encourage you to stick with the breath today as we move through the entire body, working some flexibility and working a little bit of strength along the way. It's not gonna be too hard though. So again, just keeping your attention embodied as you kind of feel your way through your practice. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, you may wanna consider doing so. It can help support the growth of the channel. I put out weekly videos and in this mobility series, we're focusing on different aspects of the body so you can kind of cherry pick and choose to develop your at-home practice. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can grab your mat. Let's begin. All right, so today we're gonna to begin on our knees. You can make your way there, nice and comfy at the back of your mat. And when you're ready, arrive into stillness, take a nice deep breath in, and a long breath out. So it's nice to just take a deep breath just to arrive onto your mat. From here, you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, move into a half moon variation, lowering your left hand down to the ground and reaching your right arm up and over your head. See if you can keep your sitting bones grounded. Just breathing length along the right side. Close your eyes if that feels good. Really reaching through your fingertips. Now take your right hand, reach it over your head and take hold of your left ear. Once you've got hold of it, drag your head over to the right hand side, bringing some length along the left side of your neck, just allowing your left arm to hang off the side of your body. And release. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, half moon variation to the right hand side. Lightly touch the right fingers over, left arm reaches up and over. Exhale, left hand takes hold of the right ear. Draw your head over to the left hand side, feeling a stretch along the right side of your neck. And release. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, gentle back bend. Cactus your arms left to right. Look up and open up your chest. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, child's pose. Spread the knees, reach the arms out in front of you, and just bring the chest down to the ground. Inhale, tabletop, ride up. Bring yourself to a nice square shape. Spread the fingers wide. Inhale, for cow, lower your belly, look forward, open up your chest. Exhale, cat, curl and press into the ground. Inhale, cow, belly lowers, chin up. Exhale, cat. Last time with the breath. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Open up your chest. Exhale, thread the needle, right shoulder comes to the ground, left arm comes underneath your left shoulder and left arm reaches out in front of you. You can rest the side of your head onto the floor, perhaps moving your hips from left to right, feeling the stretch intensify. Return your left arm underneath your shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes back down. Inhale, left arm reaches. Open your chest. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm comes underneath the shoulder. Right arm reaches out in front of you. You should feel a good even twist along the spine as you look up and under your right arm. release, right arm comes back underneath your right shoulder, inhale, left arm returns 
high up, open up your chest. Exhale, walk your hands back down. Hands come a little bit forward, move into down dog. So tuck your toes, hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance, spread the fingers. You're gonna raise the hips up and melt your heels down. Close your eyes and take a moment to pedal into your hips, feeling length along the hamstring. Seeing if you can use the full length of your breath, again, breathing into your belly, using your exhale to deepen into the stretch. It's nice to use the exhale to bring a sense of relaxation, just letting go of the tension, allowing the muscle to lengthen naturally. Inhale, step your right foot to the right hand side of your mat, outside your right hand into a runner's lunge. Lower the back knee to the ground, untuck the back toe. Now, with the mobility series, we're gonna add a little bit of movement. So if this feels good, you can stay here. If, you are quite, if you're a little bit uncomfortable, you can always prop yourself up onto some blocks. Otherwise, inhale, look forward. Exhale, half splits, move half splits variation. Straighten your right leg, flex your right toes. Inhale forward, open up the chest, lower the hips forward and down. Exhale, half splits, hips shift back, straighten your front leg. Inhale, come forward last time. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, creep forward. As you exhale, send your right arm, you can ground the left hand, right arm comes over the shoulder, takes your left foot and open up your chest. We're gonna work into our left quad, so you can lower the hips forward and down. If this is a little bit too much, you can shift your hand back just to give yourself a bit of, just lessen the distance between you and your foot. And if you have hold of the foot, you can always open up your chest, lowering the hips forward and down. Gently release the back foot. Place the hand down, raise the back toe. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot forward, coming into a wide-legged squat, lowering down into Malasana, bringing your hands to prayer. If you're on the balls of the feet, that's totally fine. You can use your hands for support if that feels good. You wanna to aim to draw up the weight back into the hips, open up the chest. And you can use your hands to leverage the hips open as you shift from left to right. On the next exhale, fold forward, so straighten out the back of the legs and keep them hip width distance. Interlace the fingers behind your back, send them up and over the head. And if you'd like to, you can always pedal the legs from left to right, so releasing the back of the neck, bringing that softness into your face. Just enjoying a long, smooth breaths. And if your mind seems to be fluttering, don't worry. See if you can notice that. And when you do, draw the attention into the body, feeling into the movements, and just see what that does to your attention. Release the hands down, inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine, chest comes parallel to the floor. Exhale, hands down, plank, left foot back, then right. If you need to, you can lower your knees. Inhale, shift slightly forward. Now press the ground away. With control, you're gonna lower down to your belly for three, two, one, and release. Untuck the toes, come onto the fingertips, elbows coming up, gonna do some rolling cobras. Inhale, lift the back of the neck up to the sky. Tuck the chin, so nice and long out the back of the neck. Exhale, roll down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale down, last time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hands come underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, child's pose, press back. Nice deep inhale. Nice gentle exhale. Inhale, tabletop right up. Tuck your toes. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, coming into a runner's lunge, lower the back knee to the floor. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, 
half split variation. Shifting the hips back, see if you can flex the toes and draw back on your left hip. Inhale, come forward, open up your chest. Exhale, half split. Now see if you can move with the breath. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, come forward, ground the right hand. Send your left hand to the back. See if you can get hold of your foot. If your right foot is too challenging, that's totally fine. You can always shift the weight back and take hold of the foot and see if that feels good. You can also open up your chest, lowering the hips forward, looking up and over the left shoulder. And if you'd like to, you can always add a little bit of movement. Inhale, hips come back slightly. Exhale, shift them forward. Just working with the mobility. And release the hand down. Hands come down, tuck your back toe. Nice runner's lunge. Inhale goes forward, exhale, malasana. Right foot joins the left into a nice deep squat. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, straighten out the back of the legs. You're gonna interlace the fingers, place them behind your head. Tuck the chin and breathe length along the spine as you sway from left to right. Release the hands down, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. From here, we're gonna bring our right knee to the front of the mat, coming into a half pigeon. You can untuck the back toe. Just a few pointers here, making sure that your knee is on the outside of the right hip. Untuck the back toe, and if you'd like to turn your posture up to make it more intense, you can just parallel your shin to the front of the mat. So get into a nice comfortable position, nice deep breath in, and a long breath out. Just close your eyes and see if you can just feel into the length of your breath, noticing when it begins, follow it all the way in, and then feeling it all the way back out. Release, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck the back toe, and we're gonna press back to down dog, just giving your hip a bit of a release. Inhale, left shin comes forward, coming into a half pigeon on the other side. Left knee on the outside of the left hip. Find your variation and get nice and comfy. release onto the hands, roll onto the left hip and extend your right leg out in front of you, coming into a Janu Sasana. Bend the left leg, it comes into the groin. You're gonna inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, exhale, shift towards the front leg and fold. Keeping your kneecap up in the sky, keeping your chest coming forward. So instead of folding over and down, you wanna open up the chest and fold at the crease of your hip. And now I'm gonna exchange them out. So left leg comes out, right comes in. Left toes are up, reach the arms up to inhale, shift towards the straightened leg and fold.
and release in it to roll up as you exhale we're going to lower down onto our backs well done draw your right knee into your chest give it a good squeeze coming into a reclined wing remover chin nice and tucked on your next soft exhale lower your right knee over to the left hand side coming into supine twist just working some length along the spine so you can keep your right shoulder onto the ground Release, gently draw your right knee in. When you're ready, you can exchange your leg, bringing your left knee in, tucking the chin. I'm gonna bring the knee in towards your chest and slightly out towards your left shoulder. Right, breathing length along the spine. And release, draw both knees into your chest, giving yourself a giant squeeze of gratitude. Inhale, raise your forehead up to the knees and take a moment just to reconnect with your body. Exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. Take up as much room as you like, having the palms up, toes out. Take a deep breath in, feel your belly lift up to the sky. With a long exhale, release and see if you can relax your body all at once. Well done. You can lay in your Shavasana, just feeling into the breath, feeling into the body, and trying to be gentle on your thoughts. If you do notice them, just bring it into the body, allowing the sensations to hold your attention. You're welcome to lay here for as long as you like. And thank you for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice and all the support into this channel. I hope you are feeling good. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you here next time on your mat. 
Namaste.